the toughest part of the 10 games and 15 days? Just trying to trying to teach and coach and learn and all that. You know, not trying to do too much, and which I have done at times. I mean, I, I sometimes some shoot arounds, especially on the road. I have not done a good job making sure guys have gotten the proper rest as opposed to being in the gym and. Uh, and, and you know, same at home. Just trying to balance the that fine line of, of trying to teach and grow and learn in a short amount of time between rest and being energized. So for me, that that's been the toughest. Have you already made adjustments based on what's been happening? I, I mean, I have. Uh, today, today's shoot around was. I mean, we we, we were on the floor at uh, ten, and we were off the floor by I think eleven twenty-five, which is really good for me right now. Mike, would you say your team? Overall, the overall assessment. Are you where you had expected the team to be right now with the performance that you're they're playing? If we could, if we could take out turnovers and transition defense, the team would be ahead of the learning curve, in my opinion. Uh, but right now, it's a reality. Those, those are there, and uh, so that that uh, sets us back just a little bit. But uh, for the most part, in a lot of areas. I'm pleased with where this team is, except those two turtle, those two areas right now. Coach, we know that Gasol picks things up quickly, but defensively and the impact that he's had both on the ball and off the ball, what would you make of that compared to what you thought coming into the season? Uh, you know, he's he's been good. Both our bigs have been good because the one thing that we're doing a lot of, as you guys know, in pick and roll situations, I'm asking those guys to jump out and attack the ball and show. And that's two guys that are over seven feet. And uh, those guys are doing a whale of a job of putting their chest on the ball and attacking it in the show and, and then getting back. And, you know, it, it's good to be able to have that in our package because that, that can help slow down some teams that play the pick and roll game a lot. And, uh, uh, you know, we'll, we'll still be able to down like uh, they have done in the past because they know that. But uh, right now, because they picked that up, both of them, Powell and Andrew, because they picked it up the way they have, it, they've given us an opportunity to show multiple looks in, in, in our pick and roll defense. Are you, are you happy with 6-4 and four, you have four games without Bynum and then you have the schedule you've been doing? You know, I told this to our guys, and, and, and this is what we can't forget. We know that we're not playing great basketball. We have played great basketball in spurts. Uh, you know, but, but I, I, I don't know. In our last, we're, we're 6-4. and four. In our last eight, we're 6-2. and two. And, and our two losses are at Denver and, and, and at Portland. So, you know, that, that's, that's not bad for me throwing all this new stuff at them and keeping them in the gym and all that other stuff for as long as I have. I got I to give them some credit uh, for where we're sitting right now in our last eight games. And, you know, we can keep trying to find ways to win ball games uh, and not take it on the chin as, as much uh, right now, then uh, that's the best of both worlds. We'll grow and learn while, while trying to find ways to win. What's been the determining factor with those with the 10 or 12 minutes of the back up to? It's been Capone some nights tonight. It was kind of like, what are you looking for? Well, you know, uh, offensively with the second unit, we haven't been able to play the way that I, I thought we would right now. Uh, you, you know, and so uh, I just felt that the uh, last couple of games, I just wanted a guy that can go, you know, do something off the dribble. And obviously, got luck, I think it was 0 for 2 tonight or something like that. But... Uh, he got to the teeth of the defense a couple of times and got some guys some easy shots. And uh, so to have that, 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 that second ball handler out there with Steve Blake uh, is, is, is something that uh, you know, I've thought about. And I keep going back and forth because Capona was not playing bad, you know. Uh, I just felt that uh, Gulak uh, right now, being a ball, ball guy or a ball skilled guy, could, could help get some guys some easy shots by getting in the teeth of the defense and then every once in a while playing pick and roll and knocking down that shot coming off the pick and roll game. Last question, guys. Coach, um, because the schedule you guys have, have you had to simplify your playbook? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. There, there's a lot of stuff that, uh, you know, we, we felt like we wanted to add to this team, and especially as we went along. But, you uh, know, yeah, yeah, I got to be careful. I have great assistance. You know, as a head coach, you think you can make a magic play happen every other day. And uh, I'm not a magician. And my coaches <laughs> let me know about it. And so uh, I've tried to keep that playbook condensed so that we're not overloading the guys with too much information. Thanks, Mike.